we're always we're always trying to like you know figure out a way to have some sort of um homeostasis with you know our our self-love and it goes up and down from time to time but um for me i think what really helped was uh lean into habits and doing some reading about habits i learned that most take about 21 days yeah. to form to kick a habit or to start a habit so what i started doing in uh, like 2016 i think it was i got this app and i started speaking these mantras into my phone and then i would play them back every morning on the drive-in to work and hearing my own voice saying these mm. declarative i am statements was really powerful for me mm -hmm. and it was everything reasons why i'm worthy to be loved things that i believe about myself to be true and it's pretty fascinating what can happen in just a short amount of time when that becomes your daily routine and for the entire year of 2016 um, I said those mantras every morning on the way into work. So seven in the morning, I had 10 minutes of straight my voice mantras that really put me in the right frame of mind to start to believe them. And once you start habits like that, positive ones, they, they can lock in after three weeks and vice versa. When you have some negative self-talk or some negative habits, it doesn't take long for those to lock in. Mm -hmm. So I've actually, the other thing I've been doing recently is I, I chart all my habits. Um, my sweet, sweet uh, astrological mother blames it on my progress moon going into Taurus, which is all a whole nother woo-woo stuff. But uh, a Buddhist monk friend of mine, I saw his, his journal one day, and he had like a bunch of lines and different things, and he was charting all the different things that he did during the month. And one thing that helps me with self-love is reminding myself what I'm all about. So if I say... The, we're in a conversation and I say, yeah, I meditate all the time. And then I go back and look at my chart, uh, which has like meditation, AM, meditation, PM, check mark, check mark, all the days in the month. And I'm tracking this. If I got like fucking five, five morning meditation in a month, how can I with any, you know, mm -hmm. conviction say, oh yeah, I meditate all the time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So what am I actually about? You know, who am I to myself? Who am I saying that I am? And how much of those things match up has really been helpful to me um there's gentleness in that because you're gonna fuck up you're not gonna do everything that you want to do but mm -hmm. also it helps me from a discipline standpoint to lock in these habits that i want to have and it's everything from oil pulling uh in the morning and night coconut oil yeah, yeah. to uh you know meditations daily to how many coffees i had in a day to uh, whether or not i took my vitamins to uh, my meditation schedule um, on and on and on. There's about 35 different things I try and be about, but it's really helped me to lock in good habits and then to be authentically myself, you know? So I'm in a conversation and I'm not bullshitting them because it sounds like mm. what I want to be about. Mm. It's like, well, who are you actually, uh, who are you at your core? Here's a, you know, here's the data to show, you know, and, uh, and we're almost to the end of March right now. So it's, I've only been doing this for a few months, but it's been fun to kind of track, um, you know, how much of these, uh, these things I say I want to be about that I've actually done little things like, uh, touching the sand or going in the ocean or, mm. uh, swimming. Cause I enjoy swimming as cardio to, um, using, you know, uh, glasses at night, to to block the, the blue light, you know, just little mm -hmm. things that I want to kick in and, and it all helps me. It's a good practice in self love because if I do it, I'm like, fuck yeah, look at you, look what you did. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. if I don't do it, it's like, okay, let's be better. But you got, I can practice gentleness on myself, which uh, has always helped me, um, you know, kind of fall deeper in, into that unconditional self-love. Yeah, that gentleness sometimes is, is well, I'd say most of the time, not really taught, you know, because no. in, in coaching and sports and athletics, it's like, you have to be better. You have to be better. But like that gentleness and man, the, it's such a lesson to be your own best friend. And I've never minded being hard coached. Like mm -hmm. I've never minded somebody sure. jumping my ass getting on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because the perfectionist, you're doing that to yourself more times than your coach could ever do that. Mm -hmm. But there also needs to be a, a good helping of that self love, gentleness, forgiveness for yourself. Like I said, like like you would give a best friend. Yeah. You know, because how you treat your best friend is you should treat yourself as good or better. Caddy for yeah. yourself. Yeah. I try to I try to do that <laughs> on the course one. sometimes because yeah. like 
I would never, if I was caddying for, for you, yeah. I would never say, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. You know, right. like, like you suck. Sure. Like idiot. No, like yeah. Yeah, never. So it's, man. Yeah, you'd be positive. You'd be encouraging. Yeah. You'd Come be, on, man. You got this. Yeah. yeah, you, yeah six more holes. That's yeah, 34 of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Same thing in life. 